I know for a fact I'm gonna need napkins for this one. You're gonna need a lot more. You're gonna need a lot more. <coughs> Do you think I will be able to get through this beautiful rib dinner? With just one napkin, technically, technically two napkins, but I'm not, I'm not gonna count that um, being two cat, two napkins. All right, I also got a cream cheese bagel because ribs and corn chips on a cream cheese bagel is just, it's spectacular. You should really try it. I feel like you could put anything on a cream cheese bagel, and it's gonna be pretty fucking good. It'll be pretty tasty, I think. All right, girl, what you got? <coughs> I have a creamy balsamic salad with some um, cooked perfect chicken. Black, with it? Salt and pepper. Salt right? and pepper. Cooked perfect chicken chunks. That's actually really, really good. I don't know Does where to start. my hair. My hair looks terrible. My hair looks terrible, too. I stayed home from work today. I woke up and I felt like, you know those little, those little snow glows where you shake it up and you see all the... The snowflakes or whatever the whatever the hell they have in there mm -hmm. goes everywhere. That's how I felt today. My head just in a whirlpool of of everything, and um, I'm I'm going back to work tomorrow. Whether I wake up feeling like this again, I just I don't want to sit home again all day like I did today. And I like being around my kids. Don't get me wrong, I did, but they're going back to school tomorrow. Right? They're going back to school tomorrow anyway, and I just got to get moving. I gotta get moving. I gotta get the old Jamie back. That Jamie that worked out at work during his pickups. You know what I mean, girl? No, I hear you. I'm back to work tomorrow myself. Do you need a doctor's note to go back? I did. Oh, you have one? I dropped it off the day I got my check. All right, here we go. First rib. First rib. Who likes ribs, huh? And if you do, what is your rib of choice? I personally, what was it? What was those? Uh... Mm, the Tony Roma ribs. Tony Roma ribs. You want to get those at Costco my in dad, the summertime. My dad said these were not good, but no. these are good. My dad's particular when it comes to the sauce. My dad is a snob when it comes to food. I, like the, I have to say the Tony Romo sauce is probably better than that. It is. Do you remember when we went on that? Well, I went on that food the hunt. Kick, yeah. The we food hunt. The food hunt. Yeah. I just, because they sell the Tony Romo barbecue sauce separate. And I didn't want to go and buy it online because at the time I didn't have a credit card. Well, I'm not going to lie to you. I still don't have a credit card, but I didn't want to do it online. I figured, you know, it says Target has it. It says Walmart has it. I'll Chooch. be able to get it. Hey, Chooch. Yes, this is the new time. It's Chooch. I don't even know, man. I would like to be going on earlier. And want, I, I'm just trying to prep for what's coming next with us. And what's coming next with us is, unfortunately, I'm not going to be able to stream every night. Yeah. So I'm just kind of going with the flow. I feel like it's better I miss if we go I, on earlier, though. I it's, don't know. it's better because we get more sleep, but at the same time, I told Kaki before, it's like a double-edged sword. Because I get enough sleep, but now I'm getting up during the week when I'm going for donuts and cookies. No, it's going to go with the flow. I'm just going to go with the flow. If we have a night where we're behind, then we'll go on at a normal time, sometimes later. I mean, the weekends, it's pretty safe to say we'll, it'll be on after midnight. Yeah. That'll be like the More time, time to digest. Yeah, but more time to be hungry. And today I was freaking hungry. I don't ever get hungry during the day, but because of how little I took in last yeah, night. Yeah, you didn't eat a lot at all. I didn't even finish my dinner either. Like, last night? Yeah. Right. I have to weigh these, these, uh... Hello, Nelson. Go on your plate. Hey, I don't want to leave any meat behind. Gotcha. My goal tonight is to finish everything, not the bag of Fritos. Yeah. That What's was a good name? one. Jack? Jack? Hi, Is Jack. Jack? Is it Jack? Where are the ribs from? They're Lloyd's ribs. These Chooch. are yeah, these are Lloyd's ribs. They're, I got them at uh, Stop and Shop. Eighteen dollars for this rack. What? It was either that or I spend twelve dollars for the small one. And heck, I didn't want to risk being hungry tonight. You know what I mean? Yeah. Wow, that just came right off the bone. So what we're gonna do is start 
They look soft as hell. Are they soft? Yeah, they're falling right off the bone. I'd falling right off the bone. Soft. But I'm going to put some of these on the bagel. Look good, Nelson. How you doing? Shoot, you're a rib guy, right? You like ribs? Would you say that's one of your favorite your favorite like proteins? Like I know men in general usually like steak. Look at that, right off the bone. Yeah, Chuch doesn't like steak. We had that conversation I said in the group the other I day. I said most men. Oh. Not all men. I understand most men don't like steak. I mean, I didn't like steak for the longest time. Oh, man. That's uh, hot. Yeah, no shit. It just came out this the literally, oven. This just came out. Pork shoulder are your favorite. Pork shoulder. Pork mm -hmm. shoulder. That's like a rump roast? Pork shoulder? Or is that the butt? No. It's the shoulder. Oh, it's the actual shoulder. All right. Yeah. You're going to put some ribs on the cream cheese bagel. Well, hello from Poland. That's awesome. Ribs, top 10, definitely. Ribs is, chooch ribs might be my favorite. Like, I love a good T-bone. I love a good T-bone. But ribs is probably right That's there. Sir, I love ribs too, and but burgers. I never eat them. And burgers. Burgers too. This is what is going to be amazing. Oh, shoulder is butt? Then why did I call it a shoulder? That makes no sense. I was right. You were right. Yeah, that's good. That's very good. I want to say burgers, then ribs, and then a steak. Is is I like pork chops too. Though. See, I have to go with the steak, probably then pork chops, and then ribs. Do you want to try one of my ribs? No, yeah, not right now. I seasoned the shit out of my potatoes tonight. They got roasted. And then they had, then they got uh, sprayed again with season, and then they went in the air fryer so they became extra crispy. And then I sprayed them again and seasoned them again, and these are good. I, I, I was gonna do French fries. Pork leg and beer is good. Never tried that one. My brother got a skirt steak the other day. I think I said this. Mm-hmm. Good. And I went, you know, looking around at our store for a skirt steak. They didn't have any. Oh, flank steak. That's what I meant to say. <laughs> flank steak. And there was no flank steaks. So I had to ask somebody. I'm like, where's the flank steak? Does it actually say flank steak on it? So I'm like, yeah. Sure, Nelson. Come on over. I think Jamie can spare a rib or two for you. Nelson, I am not sharing with you. <laughs> Never mind. I'm sorry. <laughs> well, believe it or not. Rather have loin. Loin. Pork chops. Loin. Well, I usually get the pork loin chops, the boneless ones. Cause I, I don't know, I'm weird. I don't cook anything with a bone other than a steak. Like when it comes to chicken or it comes to pork, I don't like to cook it on the bone. Where's your troll? Heard someone was... In, oh yeah, Choo Choo and Jimmy Jam. Oh yeah. I don't even care. It, it's I, I don't even care. It don't even matter. Oh, they're here lurking, I'm sure. Nah. Nah. Here's the thing when it comes to trolls and having my feelings hurt, okay? Hello, Karina. Hi, Karina. Do my feelings get hurt? Yes. When somebody, uh, you know, sits, it's a certain <laughs> little thing that sets me off, right? And I choose to be the bigger man and ignore it. If I reply to it, that means they got to me and I caved in. Yeah, which I just report. It's obnoxious. <laughs> yeah, it's huge, I know. I know. So, listen, I, like I, I said this the other night, whether they like it or not, whether they hate me or they really do love me and they just, they just like busting my balls, I'm a part of their lives. Like they're taking a couple minutes out of their day to sit there, multiple watch me and Kaki, times. and then multiple times think of what they're going to say about us. Like they, they, they come back and comment more than one time. I know. So obviously, you're thinking about us. I'm Thank flattered you. though. Well, one of them whacks off to you. Yeah, I know. I don't get anybody whacking off to me, and my dad fucking hideous to look at. If you whack off to me, let me know. Come on. Let me know. If you say it, <laughs> if you say it to Kaki, I mean, you can at least say it to me. I'll be flattered. Kaki gets disgusted. I think it's a term of. Um, I think it's a big Here compliment. You guys send me images, and I'm like, miss me with that. <laughs> what? You are huge. Said he or you guys send me images, and I'm like, miss me with that, lol. Poland. Whole talking shit about work. 
Wait, what? Who? Who's talking shit about my work, Mom? If somebody's talking shit about my work, Mom. That's what Nelson said. Oh, Nelson. Yeah, on YouTube. The YouTube some of the comments. comments. They usually like to admit how much they like to blow loads while mm -hmm. watching Khaki. A whole bunch of disgusting shit. It's disgusting, but like, like even my biggest crush in the whole wide world, women that I have, you know, played played with myself, you know, to thinking of. I wouldn't ever tell them that, unless they were right there in my face and they were a freak. And like, oh, you know what? <laughs> this is just a piggy fest right here. An hour later and I'm in bed. I like this time. Chooch, I'm glad you enjoy this time. I don't mind this time either. Chooch, you usually in bed by midnight? He's usually up early. Plus he's got the baby. How is the baby doing? I am clueless when it comes to IG. If you're one that enjoys my stories and enjoys my videos, probably noticed like the last two days I have not been posting a lot. Number one, I've, I, I've been sick and I've just been resting and you know, spending time with the puppy and the kids. And I just have not been thinking about making videos. I've been watching a lot of wrestling, a lot of indie wrestling, and a lot of old wrestling, trying to study, trying to prepare on when I go back, what kind of things I want to, inc you know, incorporate into my my look, my moveset, a little pen and paper action the last two days, which has been nice. It's been nice. Papa Bear. Hey, Papa Bear. How are you? I'm alive. I survived the flu. Five days being sick. Here I am. I'm finally, like, on the mend. No, I'm getting sick. Did you ever do your run? Is chunking up like the Marshmallow Man from Ghostbusters. She's getting oh. thick. She's chunking up. That's what we used to call Lucas the Marshmallow Man. Did we? Mm-hmm. He was a little chunky thing. Papa Bear, how are you, buddy? Karina wants to know, did you do your run this morning? Karina, I stayed home from work this morning. I woke up with a really bad headache. Yes, Nelson, I know. Three more days. Two more days for me, technically. It was a bad day for me. It was like... Did I have what Kaki and Isabella and Lucas had? With the, you know, no. But it felt like I was in a snow globe and somebody just kept on wanting to see the snowflakes fall. So they kept on shaking me. That's how I felt today. And like, I still have it right now, but not as bad. Oh, Papa Bear, you too? Both your kids have the flu? Ugh, it's terrible. Worked up and accidentally touched a jalapeno during type of night and made Ava cry all night. Oh shit, rookie move. Oh, That poor girl. That poor girl. Oh, couldn't imagine. Aww, Couldn't ima I, baby. I rub my eyes every every night I do jalapenos and I fucking cry and just keep them, keep them shut and go to sleep. It's not a fun feeling. No. It's not a fun feeling at all. You must do it a lot too. No? I'm smart enough to wash my hands after I handle jalapenos. I've been doing a good job with not rubbing my kids' I've face. I've done that. Imagine me going to say goodnight to my kids right now. It's like, oh, Daddy, what the hell's up on your fingers? It's fucking barbecue sauce, dude. Embrace it. <laughs> Ew. I really didn't need the bagel tonight, but... What are we eating? Papa Bear, I've got ribs, roasted potatoes, broccoli, and cheese. Oh, that's good. Mm-hmm. Oh, that's good. Yeah, 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 that's good. For today, considering I didn't do a whole lot of moving. I didn't do a whole lot of moving, but yesterday I was extremely under. So I would like to think that that makes up for it. And plus tomorrow night I'm gonna be doing tomorrow I'm going to be doing a lot of moving. On a, in a perfect world, tomorrow I'm gonna to get to work, have a good day at work. I'm gonna go back to being that old Jamie, the running and the jumping and the squats and the oh, sit-ups. Yeah? I'm gonna try. And then I'm gonna come home, see the puppy, see the kids. Uh, say hello to Khaki. Go for, you know, a half an hour, a half an hour at the gym, and start doing and weights again. Because that's what I was doing with this job. And and that, you know what I mean? Like when I when I first started this job, I was still hitting the gym like I didn't have a job like I do now. Mm -hmm. 
I've been doing black coffee. I mean, I'm doing a good job. Last night I had a little bit of a hiccup, but that's understandable because of... You under eight. I only took in 15 and change when it came to calories. It's not a lot. It's not a lot for me. No. Papa that's like bear. what I should be taking in. Yeah. Papa Bear, what'd you eat tonight, buddy? Are you, are you, you said you're sick too, so are you eating like soup and bread? Hey, brown cinnamon. Toast. How are you? Brown cinnamon toast. Oh, I, I see brown cinnamon, and then it says, you know, the underscore toast. I like to say the full name. You had a Snickers, Nelson? You must be full. <laughs> oh, wait. You had a Snickers? Nelson's allergic to peanuts. That's not good. Soup and coffee. How long are you staying home, Papa Bear? And is your job okay with that? Or do they bust your balls? Surprisingly, my manager knew I was going... You know, I gave my manager a heads up and he's like... Just shoot me a text. Very cool about it. And I'm, my boss messaged me this morning to, uh, he's like, I know you're still not feeling good, but he wanted to know if I wanted to use one of my days. I said, yeah, to get paid. Got no choice when it comes to that. Our daughter's turning five this Sunday, so we got a party to do. Yes, we do. And birthday presents. Running I'm turning some really sick kids, so be prepared. Stuff is going around. Yeah. He's been, Nasty shit's going around. He's Even been what? Oh, running some really sick kids. Yeah, well... You know, hopefully, hopefully once this shit leaves the house, it's, it's done with. And then yeah. we just get to look forward to sunny days and the swimming pool and the little puppy getting bigger. And, you know, my parents is going on a cruise. Me and Kaki are going to the city in February for her birthday. She's turning 40 years old, guys. That she's getting no, old. No, I'm not. I'll be 36. Sorry. It's basically 40. <laughs> And if you if you watch us and you're 40, I'm not saying you're old. I'm just saying Khaki's old. Yeah, fuck you. So I want you to know that. Hey, I'm going to be 35. I'm going to be 35 years old. Nelson, that's what happens when you drink. You shouldn't attack candy bars. Because he accidentally ate a Snickers and he's allergic to peanuts. So what happened when you ate the Snickers? Did you face well, it Well, he's not allergic. He's like intolerant. So, so nothing major happened. Um, you just said it right there. I don't want to repeat it while we're eating, but... Why you can say it? There's no. There's said no. I fucked up and I was shitting all night. Sorry for that's TMI. <laughs> no such thing as too much information when it comes to um, this stream. If, all right, Papa Bear. Thanks for stopping in. Feel better. Yeah, feel better, buddy. Hope the kids feel better too. Diane is 36, but her pussy is like 17. Oh. <laughs> 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 Thanks for caring. <laughs> I gotta tell you, Kaki is the youngest girl I've ever been with. And the oldest. Right? Yes, definitely the oldest. And yeah, because I didn't have... How old were you when me and you got together? 22. Alright, so Kaki was the youngest. I was not very... Um, Barely legal. I was not very, like, sexual through high school. I wasn't. Okay. I, I didn't. I, I was a virgin. Like, I, I didn't graduate high school, but I didn't leave high school, you know, not a virgin. I was afraid of sex. I thought I was going to find the right one. And I didn't. I wound up, you know, confining under peer pressure and losing my shit to a city Twinkie. City Twinkie. Oh, yeah, that idiot. Who cheated on me. Hello, Big Bizzo. Big Bizzo, what's up? Use me to come and drive all the way back to the city to pick her up, to bring her back here. You just, were her personal just, taxi. Just for her. And then and her reasoning was, I want to work things out. I was in love with her, so I thought. So I did it. She goes, all right, drop me off at my dad's. I'm going to shower, change, and then we'll get back together and talk. Never saw her again. Actually, I did see her again years later when she was fat and with some curb. But did you lose your virginity? I was... I was... How old was I? 20... 20... 21? 20? 21? I was 20. 
Yeah, he was 20. I was 20 or 21. So, yeah. It's, uh, I, you know, I wasn't like, you know, most of my friends who were losing it at 16 years old. These days, fucking kids lose it at 14. Yeah. It's disgusting. It's disgusting. Um, but I... Listen, I didn't even, like, hook up, hook up, but I was in high school. Kicked down the door in my 30 seconds of pumping. <laughs> Shoot says he was 13. Are you serious? Damn. That fucking young. Technically, Technically, you lost it at 13, too. Damn, Nelson. His name was Carbs. Oh, Carlos. Oh. <laughs> Carlos is a light, is a nice name. Hey, Carl, isn't Carlos the name I use for my thing down there? Mm -hmm. Say hello to Carlos. Did he talk like that? <laughs> oh my God. When you when you <laughs> met Carlos, did he go say, hey, "Dude, my name is Carlos"? Why are we on, Why are we back on this? Because Carlos, listen, if that name comes up. I have to talk like that. That's his native language. That's the way he speaks. He's happy. He's excited. I was so bad I couldn't score in your dreams. Big Bizzo. I think everybody's like that at first. And if somebody comes in here and says, I was a fucking, I was a porn star my first time having sex, you are full of shit. It just doesn't happen that way. Her name was Stephanie. Right, well, Stephanie's a lot nicer than Carlos. <laughs> Huge. Her name was Stephanie. And you're from New York, so she was Mexican. All right, so that kind of Carlos, Stephanie, they uh, both have that. They were both Mexican in common. Oh, no. <laughs> Not bad at all. Kaki, you could have a rib if you want. I might have an unclean baby out there somewhere. Uh-oh. See, that I am 100% confident <laughs> that I don't. I often say that to Nelson. I'm like, you sure you don't got a kid out there somewhere? That would be just be weird. Like, I don't have to worry about Kaki having one out there. Obviously. Obviously. And then I'm... I'm like 90% positive I don't have another kid out there. Well, I should hope you don't. What would you do? Like, five years from now, we're just sitting here eating dinner on Sunday doorbell rings. Ding dong. Daddy? <laughs> <laughs> and his name was Carlos. <laughs> would you... Would you accept him? Can't get mad at the kid. It's not the kid's fault. It's your fault. What would you do to me, though? Yeah, that's a different story. If it happened before you, like the kid's oh. age was, that's what I'm talking about. Would it well, be? Well, then I can't be mad about that. But if it happened, you know, while we were together. No, no, but what I'm saying is. Because you know, I do know how to count. Barely, but. No, okay. If the kid showed up on the doorstep, needed a place to go, would you feel comfortable taking from him? He's, a, he's basically a teenager. He's basically a teenager. How would that work? Um, a DNA Like, that shit really happens. No, I know that, but... That shit really happens in real life. How do you... Even though it's your kid, know. essentially you're taking in a stranger off the street named Carlos... Never been accused of one. Never been accused of one? What'd you say? You, you donated, donated sperm to your brother. brother. You got, I did, I knew that one. Now, Chooch. <laughs> oh, excuse me. Chooch, is that, is that weird? Seeing your brother's kid knowing that like that's your sperm? Does it feel like your kid? Is there any special emotional attachment you have towards him? It happened to your uncle, Nelson? <laughs> Somehow... Doesn't no, surprise sorry. me. <laughs> and I don't know your uncle. I don't know your uncle, but I feel like I know you, Nelson, and that of all the people in here that we talk to, I, you know, feel very confident that you would say you know someone or have a relative that, you know, has that that's happened to. Hmm. You said not at all. Don't think about her. You don't like look you don't look at her though and say, like, that's my kid. It's like I don't if I donated sperm to one of my brothers, I feel like I couldn't help but think that every time I saw him or her. Yeah. 
We joke about it. Looks more like his wife, red hair and all. Okay. The shoots does she the, does the kid know about it? It would be his niece. Then his your niece yeah. does she know about it? Because I can only imagine like if she did. And like your brother's like trying to discipline her, you know, you know, cow kids. When My they brother and I look so much alike that it's not a thing. All right. I do have to agree with that because when he was doing those streamings at Christmas time, it was like, holy crap, his brother really looks just like him. Oh, with the burnt turkey? Mm-hmm. That wasn't really burnt? Was it brown sugar? Yeah. Yeah, me and my brothers look alike too. Me and two of them. Yeah. And how she found him on Facebook and took a DNA test and the test. Oh, history. Brittany, we gotta take you down a little bit. Damn. Hey, my hands are. I don't want to touch the remote. Can you just. Kaki, I would touch it, but my hands are like all fucking cream cheese and barbecue sauce. Where are we from? Mississippi. Canada. We're from Canada. We live in Canada now, but we are originally from Mississippi. Where are you from, Prince? I feel like Mississippi's always the safe bet. Mississippi. Not a lot of people from Mississippi. You know? But yeah. we don't even have, like, southern accents. Who says Mississippi's are supposed to have a southern accents? <laughs> you York. say New York? That's where he's from. Oh. That was my other brother, Leather. She doesn't know. That's his daughter. He's a good dad. He had cancer at the time and couldn't have kids. Shoot, you're a good dude. Prince, are you saying you're from New York? Prince Young Lord? I like your name. Tell me, what is your thumbnails? You're from New York. <coughs> New York, I... Crap. Would shit yourself if you had a child somewhere. Maybe you shit yourself? Yeah, you might. Well, also. if you didn't know about it, like for me, if that happened to me, I would think about like all the time I missed out on that kid growing up, you know? So I would I'd be more depressed than anything. You lose that bone. I mean, I know I know what happens, but Yeah, it does. I just bit a bone. You lose that bond, that special bond. <laughs> I want pizza too, Chooch. My brother's in there making a pizza right now. My brother's making a pizza right now. I won't have pizza until Friday. Is Jack open it? Yes, he oh, is. Yeah. I just saw the curtain move. Yeah. Usually it was Lucas. <laughs> It'll be the first time he jumped up and scared the shit out of us while we're eating. No, I know. He's sleeping though. Deep dish. Shoot, do you have somewhere near you that makes a good deep dish? I actually can make. I mean, it probably tastes like shit now compared to all the good pizzas I've had recently, but when I first started making pizzas, when I first started cooking alone, four years ago, five years ago, whatever it was, I used to make some amazing pizzas. And one was a deep dish. When did you ever make a deep dish? What? Yeah. What? A deep dish pizza. I made a deep dish. It was like technically a fake deep dish, but it was two two things of dough put together. You don't remember that? No. Yeah. And it was it was sauce and cheese. I cooked it in that deep that deep pan. Oh, I do remember that. It was no taco pizza like that one. That was mm -hmm. the best one. I made I once made a shrimp that Alfredo. Taco pizza was delicious. Who knows is the best yeah, no, and closest. You hate New York City pizza. You hate New York pizza. I don't though. I love New York pizza. Who hates New York pizza? Chooch. Did he say that? Yes. No, he did not. Not that New York flat trash pizza. Oh. Okay. Well, he doesn't like regular. Chooch, you know what? Some of, some of the places out here on Long Island make really good pizza. Like deep dish pizza. We have a place 
by Del Furies. It's called Del Furies. They make a good deep dish, but it's called a Brooklyn. They they don't call it a deep dish. But the last time we got it, it was like eh. it was missing something. They forgot was, to put a certain eh. season it was not on good. it. Eh. You hate Florida pizza? Never had it. Mm. I hate Florida pizza too, Nelson. Never had it. Have you ever had Florida pizza? It sucks. It does oh, suck. yeah. They don't have the same water that we do. Everybody says Florida. Blake said Blake and Jenny are the, other, the only ones that said it's not bad. And that... Maybe they're just eating from really good spots that maybe know how to make pizza or maybe they get their water shipped. I don't know. I don't know. I really don't know, but I would have to give... Like, if, if we were moving to Florida next month, I would have one nice pizza night. And then I would take a rest from pizza. So when I do have it, and even though it's not that good, it's still pizza, so it's going to be good. Mm. Mm-hmm. I don't know what word that is that you just said. Um, if it's not brick oven, it's basura. Mm. I don't know what that means. Mm. If you're testing my Spanish, Chooch, <laughs> I'm going to fail. No, the place that we have has is a brick oven. Del Fury's is a brick, brick oven. Brick oven, yeah. Papa Nick's, I don't believe it is. Papa Nick's is not a, a, a um, brick oven. But I love their pizza. I love New York pizza. I don't hate deep dish, but I'm more of a regular, a regular pizza guy. I just, I don't know. Like, I just can't oh. do the salad and chips on deep dish. The Sora is, tr- is trash. Gotcha. Thank you. I just... Told I, you, don't test my Spanish, Chief. Don't test my English. That's, <laughs> that's, that's not even, true. Don't test Jimmy's English. <laughs> like, even that's a sore subject with me. Like, this is my first language, and a lot of the words, a lot of the things I'm reading, I'm probably either pronouncing it wrong, or... If I skip over your comment, it's because I don't know what the fuck you're saying, and I don't want to make myself seem a bit more stupider than I'm already sounding. So don't take it to heart. I'll probably message you after. <laughs> like, listen, I don't know what the fuck you just said, and I don't want to come off as being a dum dum. Chooch wants to know how much to lick the sauce off of your fingers. <laughs> For Kaki to do it? No. For me to do it? No, maybe Chooch. I don't know. What did Chooch do? You don't want to do that. I'm sick. And I really. <coughs> I really thought I was going to eat this and, be, and be, I didn't need the bagel. But I, I wanted the bagel. you didn't need the bagel. I told you that. I have ice cream up there. You want, just... you want to have some of mine? No, I don't. Mm-mm. By me saving this rack of ribs, this pie is basically half of it. I'll save a shit ton of calories. I have a shit ton of calories, you. but... You're worried about saving calories, but like, you're going to be hungry. That's what I'm thinking. Like, I don't want to be hungry in the middle of the night. Yeah, the, I dig the battle braid. Kaki got a battle braid going on? Oh, yeah, she does. I have a what? A battle braid. A battle braid? It's not your normal librarian bun. No, it's not. We've run out of the conditioner that I normally put. Our special green conditioner. I don't and even like, have that my in my hair mind. frizzed out, so I had to do something to tame it. I didn't even brush my hair tonight. I got out of the shower, I put it all down in front of my face, and I just wrapped it up in a knot. That's how shitty I was feeling. Didn't even brush my hair. Finally Jeez. found the pumpkin spice latte. You've had that. Oh no, you didn't. No, you just I opened it. it. You're not gonna heat it up? No, I had it sitting out. Even the directions on there says it's better to heat up for ten seconds. No. Get it says for maximum deliciousness, set your pint out for ten to fifteen minutes before digging in. Well, protein bars taste better if you put it in the microwave protein for 10 seconds. Protein bars taste really good if you open them up and throw them in the garbage. No. Yeah. I like protein bars. Microwave. Hey, protein Lance. Protein bars are gross. Yeah. Ribs and roasted potatoes. I did have a cream cheese bagel, but I ate it. It's a nice little dinner mm, tonight. It's pretty good. It's not as good as the other one. Which one? The, um, the mint one that I had. It's falling right off the bone. It's like... That's all right. That's how you know these ribs are freaking good. Surprised my dad said he didn't like them. That should just be a savage. 
I'll give you a close up if you want. That's the bottom of it. All right, you need to get the swirl. That's where the flavor is. There's a swirl, swirl in here. Mm hmm. No, and this pint of ice cream, the swirl is the best part. A lot, lots of that. Huh? When I, when this came out, I was looking like. Where the sauce was? Where the sauce was, it's all underneath. It was when it cooked and all. Yeah. We're underneath the ribs. The only thing I could add to this that would make this meal like 10 times better is macaroni salad. I knew you were going to say that. You had white chicken? White wine chicken. Is that Chris back there? Yes. It is Chris. <laughs> Making pizza. Nelson says hello. You know Nelson? From Best Market. What? Nelson, Nelson from, from Best, Best Market? Market. He's like, is that Chris back there? Oh, really? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm it's a little small, small world, Nelson. I didn't know you guys knew each other. You did work at my job, then. Remember? Don't you remember? I did. I did. Ribs wants you to watch Austin Powers. What is it? Oh, is there a spot? From Austin Powers. Okay. The second one. Fat Bastard. Get you... in my belly. I want my baby back, baby back, baby back ribs. Chooch, are you trying to say that? No, he was making a joke. Fat Bastard? Because that's what he does in the movie. Listen, I haven't seen that movie in a long ass time. <laughs> How many are there? Three? Um, Two or three? I remember the first three. one. I think the second one's the one that... It was the first one, Fat Bastard. Yeah, get in my belly. You're right. I know. I'm trying to think which one is which, though. I can't remember. Well, I think Gold Member... I think Fat Bastard was number two. Because I didn't see number three. Is there a part... Is there an Awesome Powers 3? Gold oh, gold. That number. was three. Okay. So, fast and bastard. I'm um, not far. No, sorry. Fat <laughs> bastard. bastard. <laughs> well, he's the only bastard we really talk That's about. True. And he's usually in there making fun of my man bun. This is true. Chooch said part three. Fast, uh, fat bastards in. So what is two? Spine mini me. No, mini me is number one. Oh, That's, is that the what it is? That's, That's the first one. That's the first one. It's by Shagney. Listen, you could ask me any Rocky movie question and I'll answer it. I love I Rocky. Remember. I it's a classic. Remember. But Austin Powers number two. Oh, Austin Powers number two might be with Beyonce. Beyonce was in. Is his partner in one of them? That might be number two. But I then who's the, who's the bad guy in number two? Dr. Evil again? Yeah, it's always Dr. Evil. Maybe. I might as well finish the ribs. Well, might as well, yeah. Almost the there. The little bit of vegetable leg. International Man of Mystery. What is that, too? Uh, that was the first one. Oh, first one. You love she Rocky? loves Rocky. Rocky is my favorite of all time. Movies. I could watch any of them, even, you know, even uh, with the one with Tommy Gunn, which it's probably the worst one, but it's still <laughs> a good one. It's still a good one. Listen, obviously, Chooch is a fan of Rocky, big fan. Chooch, would you say Tommy Gunn is the worst Rocky? That would be Rocky two, three, four. That's four? too many Rockies for me to, you know, remember them all. You love Creed and Creed Part 2. I did not see Creed 2. I did see Creed the first one. I don't think I ever watched all the Rockies. That's crazy. Shit happens. No, no. Listen. If I were to write the list down of movies I've never seen, you guys would think I'm fucking crazy. And I've mentioned some of them on here yeah. before. Like, how the fuck are you Italian? I never saw the Godfather. I don't get that. And I don't even have the freaking desire to see it. Ooh. I'm not a big movie buff anymore. I used to be. Part 4 is eh. 
One and two are fire. Absolutely. I agree. Um, oh, wait, no. I checked. The... No, Rocky Five might be. Rocky Five might be Tommy Gunn. I can't give you anything. I've got nothing for Rocky you. One is Apollo. I'm, I'm Rocky Two is Apollo. Yeah. Rocky Three is Mr. T and Hulk Hogan. That's Rocky it. Four is the Russian. Rocky Five is is Tommy Gunn. Hulk Hogan, A.K.A. Thunderlips. That was the third one. Yep. With Mr. T. I know that one. I saw. Club of Land. I pity the fool. <laughs> I love Mr. T, but I hated him in Rocky. What are you gonna do, Meatball? And he calls Rocky a Meatball when he's wrestling him? No. No, crush you like a Meatball, yeah. The one with the Russian, Rocky IV, has always been my favorite. I think that was the best one. Rocky 2 is really good. I like Rocky 1 just because it's the whole background story. It shows him literally living like a bum. Working. Dingy little apartment with his goldfish. <laughs> way before Buck Kiss. Way before Adrian. It shows all that. Fourth was Drago. Yeah. Fourth was Drago. Which is the best one. Unfortunately, Apollo dies in that one. So sad. I wish they should have never killed him. They should have killed Paulie. Not Apollo. Apollo. Apollo Creed. Oh, okay. It's just him and his golden retrievers and his wife. Drago was by far the best one. And then you got the spin offs Rocky Balboa. Which was eh. Well, it was like when they tried to like come back with it like years and years later well yeah I think we saw that one they came back with Rocky Balboa and Rocky Balboa that whole thing was him coming out of retirement and fighting like the new young buck and that I'll take that back Tommy Gunn is better than that one the Creed's however the Creed movies are very good I have not seen Creed 2 I have to rewatch Creed 1 I watched it with my dad hey Munchkin I watched I watched Creed one with my dad on a Saturday morning. It just it just came on. I co I was you know pouring my coffee and I'm like he's like you want to watch it? I'm like yeah. Yeah. And it became a Rocky day. It became a Rocky day. You don't watch. You don't watch one Rocky. You watch one Rocky, you get pumped for the next one. Yeah. Two things, will, two things will happen when you watch Rocky. Believe it or not. And if you are a Rocky fan, you know what I'm talking about. Number one, you want to watch more of it. You're going to watch other, the one that's supposed to come on next, or you're going to watch Rocky 1. Or number two, you get psyched to go to the gym. You want to work out. That's just what happens. Been busy today, found out your mom. I saw that, Munchkin. Congratulations. Congratulations, Munchkin. I'm so happy for you. And your mom. Yeah, I saw that a couple hours ago. That was fucking great. We are just about done, though. Kagi's done with her. No, I'm not eating anymore. No You're not eating anymore? I, I am freaking cold. You're cold from eating ice cream. Yes. I'm full. But it, it's okay. It's nice. I wouldn't get it again. I haven't had ice cream in a long time. I would not get that flavor again. I I'd get the peppermint one I had. Time. Peppermint bark. Whatever one I had last week was really good. Not last week. I don't like... You know what? I like in life. <coughs> I do, but... <coughs> their new flavors compared to their original lines... I feel like they dropped the bow with their new flavors. Yeah, their oatmeal... The oatmeal cookie crunch, though. Ugh. So good. Yeah. Your toasted almond. All the older ones were fucking good. Amazing. Rocky II, good. when his wife was in the hospital bed and told him, do it, fight. And the music came on, fuck you. Yeah, I agree. Fight. Now win. Win, Rocky, win. Oh, Adrian. <laughs> Come on, just get just thinking about those lines gets me going. 
gets my mojo going. We've had the peanut butter and jelly. The peanut Halo jelly top. What? The ice cream. I don't like Halo you Top. You didn't like it. It was your ice cream. You didn't like it. The only Halo Top I did Dude, enjoy I was... I never had their birthday cake. Was an oatmeal one. Wow. Oh, I'm done. Ugh. So. <laughs> you Am didn't I use any to... napkins. No, nah, it was gonna be a waste. Am I supposed to eat my ribs with a fucking fork? No, no. Oh. <coughs> Braveheart's another great movie. Braveheart. What? Braveheart. Which one's Braveheart? I don't know. Uh, why, am I, right. why am I not seeing all the comments? I don't know. I have no idea, but I... Yeah, he's definitely going to have to wash his hands first, Chooch, but he's definitely not touching my booty hole. No, no. I got shut down before no. already. I tried, Chooch. I tried, and plus now it's too late. We're both all filled up and... Mel Gibson movie. Yes, I think I know which one that is. What? Braveheart. I've never seen Braveheart. Never seen Braveheart. I know what it is. I just, I've never seen it. Yeah. The 16th, how Adrian died mm -hmm. of cancer. Yeah, I didn't like that either. I don't think they should have killed her off. No, they shouldn't have. I mean, there's, uh, there's a couple reasons why they would have done that. Number one, the actress herself didn't want to continue doing the movies. And they had no choice. It was either that or put her in an old home. And then, it, then you get the sympathy from Rocky going to see her, but she doesn't remember him. You know, it probably would have made more sense to do that. You know, he's the boxer. He's the one that gets punched in the face. Yet Adrian was a sweet little girl. And now she's in the, you know, in the old home. She's got like, you know, Alzheimer's and she can't remember. <gasps> I can just, I can see that being a good storyline part, but... All right, that is it for us tonight, guys. I she hope you enjoyed. We have to watch Braveheart. I've never seen Braveheart, and I, I don't I feel like I've seen like bits and pieces of it, but I don't think I've ever seen like the whole movie. Listen, when it comes to Mel Gibson, I'm a lethal weapon guy. I'm a lethal weapon guy. All right, Mel Ready Gibson and What Women Want. That movie it was funny. It was that great. movie's great. That movie was hysterical. That movie's great. Will make you guys feel ultra patriotic. I'm letting you lick my finger. All right. I just washed them. All right, we will see you guys tomorrow. Have a great night. Choo choo, it was great night, talking guys. to you tonight, buddy. And there you go. And then good night, guys.